If you're looking at squat stands, there's a few caveats that I'd like to sort of discuss. Now, squat stands are great. You can practically do everything that you can do on a power rack. The issue that I have with them is safety. They're perfectly safe for someone like an experienced Olympic weightlifter. You see them doing amazing things on squat stands. That all comes down to experience and they know how to handle a barbell and if they get in trouble, they know what, how to, to get out of it. But if you're an inexperienced lifter, you, you, you can get yourself into trouble. Not all squat stands are created equally. My advice would be never buy a cheap set of squat stands. We don't sell cheap squat stands. This is our cheapest squat stand, which is the ATX SQS 510. These are certified by European standards. They're, they're you know, well designed, great quality. But if you're doing a heavy squat or bench and, and you're not handling the barbell properly or you're pushing yourselves to the limit, you know, they're not, not as stable. We're going from one extreme to the other. In here, I've got the ATX 800 series. The code is ATX DICO SQS. And these things are next level. You know, they're built to take a huge amount of weight. They've got a, a brace that you can add on, different heights. So in reality, they're just as stable, just as safe when you've got the spotters. For, for a, even up to an advanced lifter, you're gonna be you know, experiencing the same safety as you would on a, a set of um, a, a half rack. Now, there is some middle ground between the two. You can get the ATX SQS 650s and they've got the same features. You can add the brace. Um, you've got spotters, they'll be a little bit shorter, but they're still a decent length and they're reasonably safe. I guess the, the, the point of this video is that you've got to work out what your motivation is for getting squat stands. If your motivation is because you want to save money, I, I get that, but you don't want to save money at the risk of injuring yourself. So if you don't know how to, to bail on a squad or you're going to be trying to do super heavy bench presses, I, I just would not be comfortable recommending them to you. Gym equipment's one thing where um, you can't skimp on, on quality and safety. You know, quality, you're going to end up throwing them out or you're going to have issues with... Um, um, using them, then they're, they're not as easy to use, but definitely safety is a is an issue on cheaper cheaper squat stands. Now for space, they're such a great idea for saving space. You can move them um, into a storage position after you're finished training. If space is your issue and money is not, then spend that bit extra now. Go for the SQS 650s. You can add the brace um, later on if you've got the space or when you're training. Without them, they're just gonna be a lot more stable than the cheaper variety. Just do your homework, whether you buy ATX or not, do your homework on, on, on your squat stand and work out, you know, have you seen someone use them? Have you seen any reviews? Because some of them out there are just plain rubbish and you're going to waste your money, but even worse, you could end up getting injured.